the power of your non-conscious mind you know there has been a lot of different names for uh we have a conscious mind and what people used to call a subconscious mind meaning it was below the conscious mind and and really when that when that um, term was developed it wasn't because they thought it was running in the background they actually thought that was a uh, lesser they thought the subconscious mind was subservient to the conscious mind and it was a it was a lower form so in other words the conscious mind that your rational decision making the things that you are aware of in your day-to-day -day life that's actually the most important part and your non -con your subconscious mind at this time uh how they said was the kind of thing running in the background uh but it's more or less just instinct you know it's the it's the thing that keeps you breathing it's the thing that keeps you know your blood circulating in your body and you know your 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 body to grow your hair to grow and all that type of stuff but it's not it's not that important obviously as time has gone on we know that that's not only not true it's actually the opposite right your subconscious mind as they called it in the day was is so much more powerful than your conscious mind and in fact it's the program that is dictating to you your conscious mind regardless of what the backstory is for either of these people we have two people they're experiencing the same thing let's say they both lose their home for one reason or another right and now they have to find a new home and when that happens their car also breaks down and then they're given notice that their job is ending in two weeks and you know their kids are about to start school and this and this right so there's a lot of chaos happening in it for both of these people one person their whole world could be crap like seemingly in disarray and in chaos and all of that because actually they're expanding right actually what's happening here is that that space that they were in before was too small for them and their non-conscious is pushing them to get out of there that house was too small for them they needed a bigger house that car is no longer representative of the season of life that they're in you know that job is is not taking um is not treating them is not treating them how how they and recognizing their true potential. They needed to get out of that that job so that they could, you know, fulfill their true destiny and do their purpose and blah blah blah. Right. The other person, same again, same things happening on the natural. But that other person could have all of that stuff happening because they're an addict and can't pay their bills and they were um, behind on their mortgage and they got foreclosed on and. You know, and so now they lost their job because they're unreliable, this and this and this. Their inner world could be in complete chaos, and that's happening. The other persons could be coming into more alignment with who they truly are, living out more of their identity, more of their purpose, and that's why their world is happening. This is why number one discernment is very, very important. If you're on the outside, if you're if you're not one of these two people I'm talking about, and you're seeing both of these people discernment is very important for you because it tells you what why these things are happening to these people you know one of them is expanding right one of them is stepping into who they truly are and one of them is imploding one of them is getting an opportunity to either actually deal with what's inside of them or try to rebuild and build a different facade you know this time around so same situation on the outside happening very different reasons for it occurring internally if you are one of those people so let's say oh yeah that that just describes me how do i know which one i am you know am i doing something wrong or am i doing something right that is why it is so important that you know yourself okay again i without knowing all of the details about what is happening if this has been a repeating pattern for you or or what your situation is there's no way for me to know which one it is that's why it's and and, and it's really not, not the whole goal of this um intensive is for you to know what is best for you it's for you to understand what is the right thing for you moving forward so that you learn how to be so connected to um to your purpose to your destiny and to to have this very solid foundation and relationship with god who by the way is in you okay 
God is not like a guy in the sky somewhere separate from you. He is in you. Okay. This is his home. This is where he lives. <laughs> so, you know, you, the, the closer you get to God, the more everything else about your life will change. Um, and, and again, the closer you get you will, you will naturally move towards your purpose. You will naturally move into your destiny. You will naturally move into these things.